Hello everybody! In this tutorial, I will show you how to do post-production for a rendered scene. Our rendered image is a restaurant showing its interior main dining hall with a retractable roof that opens to the sky. Some as last tutorial before, I'll use Photoshop rendering elements to beautify this image. On layers are the render elements V-Ray Extra Text, V-Ray Z-Depth, V-Ray Reflection, V-Ray Refraction, etc. I'll do these easy steps quickly since you all know the basic techniques from our last tutorial. First, I'll change the night background sky to night sky highlighted with stars. Go to the channels. Click on Alpha 1 to get the black and white element for masking. Hold Control. Click on Alpha Channel to select the sky. Now go back to Layer. On Render Folder, add a vector mask. Then turn on the layer visibility of the starry night background below. Now you can see that our background sky is changed with a dark blue sky with stars. Next step, I want to make the area around the lights to be brighter. Click on V-Ray Refraction, then add a new adjustment layer. Click on Levels. Then I'll use V-Ray Lighting Element to create a mask on the level layer. Turn on its visibility, then type Ctrl-8 to select all the V-Ray Lighting Color. Then I'll copy Alt plus Click Mask and paste this to the new adjustment layer created before. Then adjust on the levels to the desired result. Add Curves layer to make the whole scene brighter. Adjust on the curve. Our rendering element is done with its layer adjustment. Now I want the image to be more impressive. As you can see, the image looks dark and all the colors blend together. We will highlight on some areas for it not to look flat. First, I want to enhance the sconce light decoration on the wall. Create new group and rename it to Decor Wall. Inside this folder, make a new adjustment layer and click on the curves. Adjust it until the light gets brighter. Just move this line to adjust the brightness, depending on your preference. See the difference? I'll add another adjustment layer. Click on Color Balance to change the light of the color. Click and drag the pointer tab to the left or right to the color mood you want. Then I'll create a layer mask for the group. Type Ctrl I to invert the mask color to black. Next, use brush with white color to paint the areas you want to highlight. Right click to adjust your brush tool diameter. I'll adjust the brush opacity as well. I will paint on the areas around the lights on the wall. Zoom in the lamp for a closer view. You can click Alt then scroll the mouse wheel to minimize or maximize the zoom view. Then start painting.
Here the light is behind the tree. To paint it properly, I'll move the V-Ray Render ID element to select the tree. Control shift i to invert selection. Now go back to the mask. You can freely paint on the area you want without painting on the tree. I'll paint on all the areas with lights. You can see the result when I turn on and off the layer here. The lights have been enhanced. Next, I will highlight the white orchids on top of the table. Create a new group folder for the flowers. Add a new adjustment layer, then click on Levels. Then adjust its brightness. The white color is now blending with the reddish light. To get back the white color, add the hue saturation layer and reduce the red color using saturation parameter. Add a mask to the flower group. Go to ID element to select the flowers by using the magic wand tool or doubly for its shortcut. It's easy to pick on the flowers because of the render ID. I'll pick on all orchids on top of the table, even to the farthest ones across the room. Zoom on it to get a closer view for your selection. Turn off its layer visibility, then go back to Flower Mask to paint the selected areas with white. Choose a white color and adjust the opacity to 100%, then click on Paint Bucket Tool to paint all the selection at once. Now, the orchids are all white in color. Go to Hue and Saturation layer to adjust its saturation color. But now the glass vases are unsaturated too. Click on the flower mask. Then use the brush tool and paint all the glass vases in black to bring back its original color. Brush on its glass vases one by one and zoom in to get a closer view on the vases.
I'm doing this to make sure I don't miss any spot. This is quite tedious, but we need to be certain that all these small details are properly done. I miss one spot here. Now let's check by turning off and on the flower mask layer visibility. See the big difference on the orchid's color? I want to adjust some areas of the dining hall as well. Use the same technique for other detail elements like this retractable roof pergola. I'll create a new group and I'll name it Covered. Next step, go to V-Ray Render ID and select on the retractable roof. Turn it off and go to the Covered folder and add a layer mask. Then select Curve. Adjust the curve line based on your taste. Create a new adjustment layer and select Hue Saturation. Adjust the saturation to your preference. Now we will adjust the brightness for this bar area above dining hall and this movie screen wall at the top. Create a new group folder. I'll name this as picture. Like before, click on the render ID of the screen and add a layer mask. Create a new adjustment layer and click on the curves, then adjust the brightness on your choice. The movie screen wall is now brighter than before. This time I would like to adjust the brightness level of the blue tree in the middle of the hall. Create a new group folder. I'll name it as tree. Open the render ID and click on the tree area. Turn off the render ID layer and add a vector mask and an adjustment layer. Then click selective color. Selective color is used to adjust some selected color channels without affecting other channels. You can click on colors and adjust its use. We can see the difference once we move the cursor tab to a specific digit percentage. Drag the tab to the left or right to increase or lessen its color amount. You can see that the percentage numbers changed as I drag the cursor arrow from left to right. Select other color like this green and adjust the colors cyan, magenta, yellow, and black color hues. You can see some difference to the tree's bottom light. Its color hues changes as we alter on the selective color properties. Now let's pick the color blue. Since our tree is blue, let's focus on adjusting the blue hue more. 
adjust the cursor to left or right in its cyan, magenta, yellow, and black color hues to your desired preference. Create new fill and click on Hue Saturation. Adjust the parameters of Hue's saturation and lightness based on your choice. Click on Ctrl I to invert the hues color to black. I want to highlight the uplight at the bottom of the tree trunk. Select Brush Tool and Color White to brush the light up the tree upward. Add a new adjustment layer, then click on Curves. Adjust the curve line on your desired curve layer. And now our tree is OK. Adjust the curve more to brighten up the blue tree. Now you can see that its small branches are lightened up and visible. This time we'll adjust the brightness for these rooms. Create new folder. Name it Walls. Same steps, go to the render ID and click on the room's walls. Add vector mask and add a new adjustment layer. Click on Levels, then adjust the cursor to desired levels. Then add another layer and click on the color balance. Color balance will let you adjust specific colors without affecting other colors. Now I like the color of my green wall. It's already adjusted on its proper green color without affecting other elements' colors. Next up, this fireplace is lit up, so I will add flame on this furnace. Create a new group folder. I'll name this as Fire. Click on the Render ID and select the Fireplace area.
I previously saved a flame image here. I'll copy and paste this to the new layer I'll create. Adjust the size of the flame to fit in the fireplace and change it to screen mode. Reduce the opacity of the flame for it to look more natural. Lastly, I will add light to the heater hanging under these beams using the same process I did with the light before. Create a new group folder. I'll name it Light. Add a vector mask and type Ctrl I to invert it to black. Click on the brush tool and reduce the size of the brush based on your choice. Now paint on the heater aligning the light. Brush on the other light heater as well. Skip on the blue tree branches and brush only on the light. Add an adjustment layer and click on curves, then adjust the brightness. Once finished, Drag the curved layer inside the light folder. You can see the difference of the heater like this. I will add a layer of color balance to adjust the color of the heater light. Now here's our finished product, enhanced through Photoshop Retouch, and don't forget to save your work. Thanks for watching till our next tutorial. Bye!